One of the most severe pathogens of hops in the Northeast and actually across the country and the world is downy mildew. And downy mildew is actually a, a water mold that uh, infects the hop plants and can eventually lead to hop death. Downy mildew was one of the primary reasons that hop production left the Northeast back in the 18 and early 1900s. Downy mildew was so severe um, and there were very few ways to control it at that time that it essentially drove production west where there were drier conditions. Downy mildew really likes uh, moderate temperatures and moist wet weather which we have a lot of in the spring um, in areas like Vermont. So once again downy mildew has reared its ugly head here in the northeast and is causing problems in, uh, in our new hop yards. Uh, what we've tried to do this year to control downy mildew is to perform a mechanical control system called crowning. And crowning is essentially removing the top portion of the hop crown before the plant really starts to grow very much. Downy mildew is an obligate parasite and therefore it needs living plant tissue to survive. So the downy mildew mycelium or the, the fungal body overwinters in the crown of the hop plant and when the crown um, starts to produce new buds in the spring the downy mildew mycelium will grow in those buds. When the buds open and the primary shoots come out of the plant, you can usually, if the crown has been infected, see stunted shoots um, on the plant very early in the season. So if you crown the plant or cut the top part of the crown off um, about a half inch of the crown, then you'll remove some, if not hopefully most, of the downy mildew mycelium, preventing it from growing in the early spring. This spring, we tried crowning for the first time in our hop yard here at UVM, um, and I would say we, we had good success. We don't have a commercial crowner like they have out west, so we built a crowner, and you can see that in the video. We came through uh, about two weeks ago when the plants were just starting to show buds. We probably should have crowned a little bit earlier, um, but that's when we had time to do it, so we came out and crowned the plants. We cut the half, uh, top half inch of the crown off um, of most every plant, and of course we left some controls in the field to see um, if it would stunt growth uh, or not. You can see here, this was a plant that was crowned two weeks ago. You can see the crown uh, where it was cut, and you can also see where new buds are pushing out from the crown and starting to regrow. So at this point, our assumption is that crowning, um, it obviously has slowed growth, but it's starting to regrow, so hopefully we didn't do too much damage. And hopefully we removed um, any of the downy mildew mycelium in the top of the crown. Next to the crown plant, we do have a control here. And this is a plant that was not crowned. And you can see it's a little bit further ahead in growth. Um, I don't see any stunted plants at this point, so maybe this one does not have uh, downy mildew in the crown but we will be comparing to see um, if, if the crown plant does indeed have less downy mildew and also if there's any uh, impact on yield. Hi, my name is Connor Burke and I work for UVM Extension Northwest Crops and Soil Team. We're up here at our research farm in Alberg, Vermont and it's about mid-April and we're starting to crown our hop plants as you can see um, this is what's left of the cr after the crowning has been done we're just going through with a basic saw well we're cutting off the uh, a half inch to three quarters of an inch of the new growth of this year which is this top part it looks like this and this is the area that holds the spores of the downy mildew um, the idea behind it is it's basically a preventative measure early season to prevent downy mildew. This here is our hop plant that has not been cut yet. Uh, as you can see it looks quite a bit different. Uh, this is our all-terrain trimmer that we'll be using to crown the hops. Um, we rigged it up with the little saw blade here. Uh, it cuts in pretty well. You need something that's, that's tough enough to go through a little bit of soil. 
Uh, one other thing you want to make sure to do before you go ahead and crown your plants is to move your irrigation hose uh, far enough away from the plant so that you don't cut into it at all. 